welcome back to Expedition Extreme. I'm Sean Mayer and we are a thousand meters above sea level right now in the midst of the heat here in the Middle East, running away from the 44, 45 degrees Celsius down at the coast. Ah, it's still 36, pretty damn hot. But what I want to talk to you today about is Airbag Man. Now, if you haven't watched the full reveal of the truck where we've completely fitted the entire truck with new gadgets, suspension, um, management systems, batteries, the whole bang shoot, check the description below. The, the full reveal is there. But what I want to discuss right now is we've done about 8,000 kilometers since we have revamped the entire truck. And I want to talk about airbag man suspension. Right, let's go and have a look. So what is it? What is airbag man suspension? Right, so you've got a vehicle, you've kitted it out, you want to go overlanding or you packing the vehicle with either all your gear inside the vehicle or you might be pulling a trailer. Now, it doesn't matter what suspension you put on there. I've got 500 kg constant load, so I've upgraded the leaf springs to carry the extra weight that I've got in this truck. And the suspension that I've got in there has got nine stage adjustable shocks. The Top Dog suspension, great, but I still have a sagging effect, especially when I look, hook that trailer up or when all the fridges are full and I've got the family in the car and the vehicle rides back, backside down. Now, eh, a lot of people say, fine, when I hook my caravan, the same thing happens. Now think about it logically. If your vehicle has got the rear end sagging down and the front wheels are lifting, your handling is going to be totally different. Your brakes are going to be affected because when you're hitting the brakes, I don't know what the percentage is, but I would say a good 60 to 70% of your front brakes, maybe even more, 80% of the front brakes, that's what your stopping power is, right? Your rear brakes really don't do much, okay? So if you're dragging along and your front wheels are in the air, as soon as you hit the brakes, you're just gonna skid. Try and turn, you've got no feeling to the steering. So what does Airbag Man suspension do for you? Right, so as you look at the vehicle right now, yeah, it looks pretty level. And you wonder why there's a Coke can over there? I'll tell you now. What happens when you load up the vehicle? You need to be able to adjust the suspension to be able to get it back to the original ride height. Now, if you look at most vehicles today, the nose is always hanging down. Whether it be two, two degrees or maybe three degrees, depending on the vehicle. You look at F-150s, you look at most vehicles, the nose is always pointing down. Now, a lot of guys are going to put a leveling kit on and then they load the vehicle and what happens? The nose goes up and your steering wheel becomes extremely feathery. Okay, great. So, now you've got that, you install Airbag Man Suspension to improve brakes and to improve handling. So, have a look at the Coke can over here. I've got a two and a half inch suspension lift that I can do to level out my vehicle to ensure that the weight distribution let me just check that I don't over inflate this, right? And if you look at the can now, it's gone up quite considerably. I've still got probably another inch, inch and a half to go. That to me is exceptionally important, especially when I am driving on the tar road. On the tar road, what I love most about the airbag man suspension, you can get it nice and stiff and the vehicle handles like a normal vehicle. Well, like a normal car. Getting down, getting into a roundabout over here. Normally, the ice would have just hung over and it feels like you're gonna fall over. Now I can get in there and I can really attack the corners as if I was driving a, my Dodge Challenger, the SRT8. Well, I don't have the speed. I'm going as fast as I can out of the corners, but it's as fast as a 70 series can get through tight bends around about safely so uh, changed my entire ride completely having a suspension setup without the airbag man you will never get that stiffness on the rear end her ass is pretty heavy so we got to support her now great so on road it gives you phenomenal performance what does it do for you off-road and now off-road right so deflated the tires obviously adjusted the suspension but now I can play deflator have a look at it 
don't go below 10 psi because then the bags don't well they don't keep the integrity and it'll pinch but i can set the ride now to really become like a boat so section of road where i see the corrugation and i can speed up to 80 k's per hour i can then from here inflate it slightly compressor starts and i'm getting a stiffer ride where i can really speed up and be confident through the corners as soon as i have to slow down like here put it all the way down again because i've inflated it now i can get through the rocky sections and i'm getting full articulation because the bags are soft so now the suspension can move without the interference of the bags so what is it right airbag man suspension is there to assist you with your existing suspension or your aftermarket suspension to give your vehicle the stability it needs to give you the best handling possible right i love it i absolutely love it now you have a couple of options when you take this right so you can either go for the whole bang shoot that we've got over here we've got the compressor we've got the air tank and we've got the ability to inflate and deflate at a touch of a button over here or you can go totally analog and you've got two valves that would stick out at your rear bumper wherever you like and you would pump that up with your existing compressor that pumps your tires so having a look at which level the vehicle is at that's how you manage what psi you'd be pumping the airbag man to i've been using it now for 8,000 kilometers i can tell you I have fine-tuned it. I know exactly which PSI setting I need to be at to handle whichever terrain I need to go. From us, this is a definite thumbs up and this is definitely going to be installed in every single vehicle moving forward. So, Airbag Man, thank you so much. I love your product. So guys, last thing. Remember, if it's dusty, drive it.